In the last video, I introduced you to the idea of KSP and using it to solve the concentrations of a saturated substance at equilibrium. In that video, I showed you how we use an ice box to actually solve those questions, and then talked to you about why we never need to use an ice box to solve them. And so in this video, what I wanted to do was show you how to solve for concentrations of a saturated solution when we don't have a one-to-one -one ratio and I want to do it without any ice box of any kind. So let's take a look at the example that we're going to work through in order to solve this question. So we're going to calculate the molar concentration of silver chromate in a saturated solution at 25 degrees Celsius. The molar concentration means how much of that substance is dissolved in the solution. And it tells us it's saturated at 25 degrees because remember, KSP changes with temperature so they're just letting us know that the temperature is staying constant. The KSP, it tells us, is 1.1 times 10 to the minus 12. So if you're thinking it through, 1.1 times, 1 .1 times 10 to the minus 12 is a pretty small KSP. So we shouldn't expect a lot of the substance to be dissolved. So let's take a look at how we would solve this. Whenever we're dealing with a dissociation equation and with KSP in general, the equation that we're working with is a dissociation equation. So silver chromate is Ag2CrO4, and since it's dissociation, it's going to be solid as a reactant. Keep in mind, CrO4 chromate has a minus 2 charge, and silver has a plus 1 charge. That's why we have the formula that we built over there. So we're going to balance this equation. So we have CrO4, 2 minus, and it's aqueous. And keep in mind here, because of those two silvers, we're going to have a coefficient of two in front of the silver. Now, what I'm going to do next is write out my KSP expression. So KSP is the concentration of silver ions. It has to be raised to the power of its coefficient, so squared. And that's going to be multiplied by chromate, so CrO4, two negative. Okay, and that's going to be our KSP expression. Now, keep in mind, we talked in the last video, they always are going to start at zero because they're all, we're always dealing with products in the KSP. That's because our reactant is a solid and it's not included in the KSP expression. So these are always going to start at zero and increase by a factor related to their coefficients. And that factor is their concentration at equilibrium because they start at a concentration of zero. What that means is silver is going to have a concentration of 2x. Whatever the coefficient is, or whatever the exponent is, that's what you're going to multiply by x inside the brackets. Keep in mind we also have to raise this to the power of 2. And that's because that is what is actually shown in this equation. That's going to be multiplied by chromate which is going to be x, and that's all equal to our KSP, which we can find in the question as 1.1 times 10 to the minus 12. So from here, this is just algebra. We just need to solve. And keep in mind here, this exponent applies to both things in the bracket. So what that means is we have 4x squared multiplied by x, which is 4x cubed. That's all going to be equal to 1.1 times 10 to the minus 10, or sorry, minus 12, my bad. And now we have to solve. I'm going to tell you right now, one of the biggest mistakes people make is they try and deal with this exponent first without dealing with the multiplication. So you have to get the x by itself before you can actually do anything about this cube. So we're going to divide by 4 on both sides, and that's going to eliminate the 4 for me over here. And I'm just going to be left with x cubed. 1.1 times 10 to the minus 12, we're going to divide that by 4. What that's going to give me is 2.75 times 10 to the minus 13. And I'm going to show you a little trick if you're using significant figures. Sometimes I like to just track that last significant figure with a little dot. 
That doesn't mean I'm going to round it off partway through my calculation, but that way I know, okay, this is my last significant digit because I had two here. I need to continue to keep two as I move forward. Now we have this x cubed. We need to deal with this x cubed. And the way that we deal with this is we are going to take what is called the cube root. And if we do it on one side, we must do it on the other. Now, if you're looking at your calculator, chances are your calculator has a cube root function, and it's probably on your actual cube button. So for mine, the cube root is the second function of the cube button. But make sure you know how to use your calculator. Make sure you read through it so that you know your instructions and, and how to deal with these things. But all we have to do is plug this into our calculator. And when you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 1.4010 and so on times 10 to the minus 4. So that means here that x is 1.4 times by 10 to the minus 4. Keep in mind, 2 sig figs, so 2 sig figs. Now the question initially was, what is the molar concentration? Well, that actually is x. When we say molar concentration, basically we're saying, what's the concentration of the substance dissolved in the solution? And for us, that's going to be x. So 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4 molarity. So that's how we solve it. Whatever your coefficients are, those are going to be what you plug into your KSP expression in order to solve. And like I mentioned, you don't actually need the ice box to solve this. But I kind of lied to you a little bit. I did make an ice box just below. Because what I want to show you is how I actually got those and where they came from in case you're confused. So this is my ice box. Remember that the solid in the expression doesn't affect equilibrium. So we can totally cross out that box. And initially we start with zero molarity. We have no products at the beginning of this reaction. But they have to increase because they can't stay at zero and they're gonna increase by a factor related to their coefficient. So for this one, it increases by a factor of 2x, and here it increases by a factor of x, because that's what our coefficients are. Since this started at zero and increased by 2x, it's going to be 2x at equilibrium, whereas this one's just gonna be x at equilibrium. And if you take a look at the concentrations and what we plugged in, we plugged in 2x for silver. We plugged in x for chromate. We did that because of the coefficients in the equation, and it actually, the underlying principle is based on this ice box. But that being said, you don't need the ice box. You can literally just do it like that. So hopefully this helps you get a better understanding of how to use KSP, how to solve equations with it, and how to use it to find concentrations of substances when they reach saturation. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.